Welcome to the eighth episode in my series of It's So Hot That. These are meant to be the antidote to those silly videos you see on YouTube where they cherry pick cold events from around the world to try to prove that the earth is cooling when in fact it is warming. These are the events that they've missed out. In fact, these are only just some of the events that they missed out. One of the characteristics of a warming planet is that when it rains, it rains very heavily. You're going to see several examples of that today. In New Mexico, seven miles of one of the highways there was covered up to four feet of mud after a flash flood. One and a half inches of rain fell in 15 minutes. The storm left over 17,000 people without power. Another area hit with torrential rain was Mumbai in India. They got about 10 inches of rain in a 24 hour period. There was 25 dead when a wall collapsed on some homes. Many are still missing. Ironically, the storm damaged the local water purification plant and there is a water shortage in some areas. England is usually famed for its cold, damp weather. So some of us might laugh at what they call a heat wave. But there's one hitting the UK at the moment. Temperatures of nearly 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees centigrade, have been reached in southern England. These temperatures are likely to last for the rest of the week. Now remember, most homes in the UK do not have air conditioning. So this is really a terrible situation for the people there. People are flocking to the beaches to try to stay cool. With hot weather comes fires. The bootleg fire, which is the largest fire so far in the United States, is in southern Oregon and it exploded to burn over 340,000 acres. That's about 530 square miles or 1,380 square kilometers. So far, only 75 homes have been lost, but it's unlikely to be contained until November when the rains come. It's so intense, it's generating its own weather, including fire tornadoes. Another place suffering from torrential rain is central China. Over 10,000 people have had to be evacuated from Henan province. So far, 12 have been identified as being dead from the flood uh, caused by record rainfall, and more rain is forecast. A dam was breached in Luoyang city. If you don't like bugs, this story is not for you. Millions of ladybugs have taken over a Russian beach. The outbreak was helped by unusually hot and humid weather. These pests can bite and make sunbathing unpleasant, to, at least to some. This young lady here seems to be enjoying herself. I can't think why. And they're getting infested with vast swarms of mosquitoes. This swarm was spotted in Russia near the Bering Sea. It actually looks like a mosquito tornado. To combat the increasingly high temperatures, seed manufacturers have been breeding varieties that are developed to resist increasing temperatures and, and drought conditions. However, it's turning out that these new varieties don't produce as much food. So you're sort of damned if you do and damned if you don't. Very unusually, there are five simultaneous heat waves in the Northern Hemisphere. New all-time records were set for Turkey, Japan, and Ulster. In Montana, the temperature reached 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 43 degrees centigrade. One of those hotspots is Siberia. One Siberian fire official said, everything is on fire. They are suffering the worst fires in living memory. It's the driest summer since records began 150 years ago. The air quality is so bad they're forcing the evacuation of children. A lot of people like to try to blame the sun for all of these problems with temperature, but it's not true as many of my videos have shown. Solar activity at the moment though is at a five year high. We're 77 days without having a spotless day. The last time that happened was March of 2016, just after the previous solar maximum. This month had the first X flare of the solar cycle 25. That was early compared with the previous cycle. And the sunspot number is over 70 and we're only 19 months into the 11 year cycle. The peak of the cycle is usually four to five years from solar minimum. So we've got a way to go yet. So the conclusion one can draw from this, that a grand solar minimum that everybody's been going on about is very unlikely. We can summarize the situation from around the world by looking at the number of new record highs and new record lows. 
In the last week, there have been 1,244 new daily record highs, compared with only 246 daily record lows. That's a ratio of about 5 to 1. The conclusion then, and with that sort of ratio, is that the Earth is still warming and quite rapidly. Thank you all for the many It's Too Hot jokes. Um, I'm having quite a chuckle at some of them, even though I can't necessarily put them on YouTube. Anyway, keep sending them. I will use them where I can. You may have recognized some of yours already in today's presentation. Thank you again. So until next time, stay safe, stay cool, and goodbye.